I see an article on CNN today in how parents could train children to be geniuses. And I think that, uh, I think there's a, a mistake right there. Because we, first of all, not any child can become a genius. Okay, the child has to be born with perhaps total potential or full uh, high IQ, etc. Or, or a part of the brain that is responsible for intelligence and all that should be well developed and strong. Okay, that's one part. And so the parent might, you know, provide an environment and so on. But I don't think necessarily um, a parent could train a child to be a genius. Um, I recall uh, uh, some time ago I saw a video where um, a woman went to get a certain genius sperm, a sperm donation from a genius, right? And she conceived with this child and, and so on, and she's trained this child to be a genius. And her strategy might be to give the child his own way, let him, let his mind roam and let him go on. And, and already the child was just probably about six or seven. You could see his own way. He's, uh, he, he, the spotlight is so much in him that he now thinks that he's it. And, I mean, I don't know the development of that child, but I'm sure that he's going to crash because it's not like that. Okay? Um, another time there was this young boy who was out there preaching and telling the teachers about this and, you know, telling people about sin and all that stuff. And this child doesn't have the experience for what he's talking about. And I was quite sure that God wasn't inspiring him. Now, later on, to come to discover that they were saying that, oh, it's all about the money. The parents wanted the money and this and that and all this stupidness. But, you see, in this evil world where, has, you know, uh, Halloween and other forms of evil are dominant, in fact, one parent told me in Los Angeles County that all these kids want is evil. You get them, the more evil they get, is the happier they are. So that, let me go to the scriptures. The scripture says, um, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Now, wisdom is what the genius has in abundance. Because wisdom is uh, the ability to put knowledge together and understand and combine it to create new things and, and situations and so on, right? But I think it was, is it Einstein or someone, these important guy says that um, genius is 99% inspiration and 1% sweat. So that when they train in this child to be a genius, this child has to be working 24-7 to try to put things together. And a lot of times they're going to be just um, trying to recreate the wheel again. But if they were of God, it's not about you working hard. You just go through normal as, you know, being a good student and everything you do, ensuring you understand everything you do. And it's God is going to put it together. Because, you see, God knows the future. He knows what people need out there. And He knows what the problems are presently. He knows the correct answer. So if you're not in touch with Him, it's going to be impossible. For example, I saw this um, Latino guy has a four point something, one point something GPA. And um, he's talking about, okay, so I'm a genius and, and, and I should go to the school, although he's illegal and so on. I remember when I was in high school, I had already developed the strategy that they're now calling um, carbon sequestration. And that's almost, how long ago? 73, um, almost 40 years ago in high school. I, I figured it out. I told her, she said, look, this is how we could solve this problem. She says, well, okay, you go ahead and work on it. So that um, I didn't have to go to college or go to some special, um, you know, stimulation to, to really do things. In high school, it was done simply because I have respect for God. I reverence Him. And, um, you know, He has inspired my mind. So that 40 years ago, now these boys are talking about clean coal burning technology. I'm not a part of the picture. I tried to get a patent and I stole it. And um, they, they almost run me out of Canada because, you know, I felt very um, insecure and very threatened, so I had to leave. I come over here, the same thing, follow me around. They, they, they get these boys to knock me off so that they could come now and claim the thing as theirs. But I have some, some claim in there, not necessarily financial, but at least, um, you know, the innovation. But so, so again, and, and, and these parents that training these kids, um, you might see them wear a ring in the nose and the tongue and the lip, you know, and all the the uh, the, 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 
they have no respect for the elderly, they, they don't go to church, they don't believe in God and all that stuff. So their genius is just about claiming somebody, some minority idea, like some black, the search net, find something that some black person or some minority has said who doesn't have the support or who can't get um, other uh, resources to put it together and then they're going to grab it and go out and run and say, hey, look what I developed. And then they're going to have the FBI and others going to come on and support them so that they're going to come out and, and claim it as theirs and they're going to, you know, subjugate the minority. They can't even come and claim to it because no media will give them a, you know, a shout. So that's the kind of genius they're developing, like Bill Gates and, and the, the guy with the Facebook and all that stuff. So um, if you want real, genuine, you know, geniuses, they have to, you know, reverence God. And he's going to give them knowledge, understanding, or wisdom so they could create things that are not necessarily going to hurt us, but things that are going to take us to the next level of safety and happiness.